Happy Saturday. Thought I'd do a quick video overview on what Helix is. Uh, we've been talking about it everywhere and some people are asking me what, what exactly is it. So it is a strategy. Um, I like the Ninza Ranko bars, but it could be used on range too, but that's here nor there. But uh, in essence, it's a strategy and it's got a lot of settings in it, but we have moving averages, we have the VWAP, high, the low, all those types of things that we could uh, uh, have different parameters. Most importantly though, is the setups. So right now I'm working on 3A, uh, there'll be 3B and 3C, et cetera, later, but right now I'm working on the 3A, which is just initial trend trade. And and then there's ex, uh, external executions. There's the nine, which has been working on. Um, so there's different types of strategies. If you have a strategy, or should I say a setup, if you have a setup that is uh, you know proven and you like to automate it, we could do that relatively easy now that everything is done. All of the trade management, um, as you start getting into, you'll notice all the number groups are all plotting things and all the alpha groups are uh, trade management. That's how the word helix came to be is because this used to be an indicator and all this used to be a strategy and I married them together and they've been living happily ever after. So, uh, but the triggers, you know, you've got your different quantities and offsets uh, in either direction if you want them. And then in B, you've got all your trade management, uh, your targets, your stops. Um, then we have the break evens, we have auto trails, and then we have the pivot trailing stops, uh, a couple of those. You could even go in the past prior to your trade, prior to your entry, and find pivots and find a stop for it. Um, or only, or if you set it for post, um, you know, after you get in, then the, the next one will be dynamic stops, which uh, I just have on paper, but it's not coded yet. Um, so a lot of stop, everything's really based on stop. A lot of things are based on stop management. Obviously, the setup is crucial once you're in, but it's also more importantly is how you manage it once you're in. So anyway, th this hopefully is just a, a quick little uh, overview of what it is. And in order to, uh, if you want to find it, just go to uh, go to the homepage, trumper.com, and go to tools. The indicators are all up here. Most of these are free. Um, but then down here is Helix. And if you click on there, this will give you a little bit more. If you want to get information on updates and news and whatnot with this, then you can put your email address in there and you'll get updates to it. I don't send emails to everybody, only the people that are interested in, in this one particular area. Then if you want to play with it for a few days, you can play with it. Um, there's some subscription options. And then right here is a video, the strategy over. It's like a two-hour video, and but it breaks it down into the groups as I talked about, you know, the plotting. And so if you wanted to find one, if you wanted to know something specific on what something is, you can go right to that point and it takes you there. And I've added supplements since then. This has been around a while, but um, I figured I'd, um, I'd get started on this. So that's it. And, and other than that, that's really about it. Entry zone short. Bullish moving at bullish bearish moving at bearish bearish moving average cross. Bullish moving average cross. Bearish moving average cross. Bullish moving average cross. Okay, that's about it. So every time there's a setup doesn't necessarily mean that you got in. So when there's a setup, this is just happens to be, uh, I'm on setup three. So in this scenario, uh, the other setups are, are different logic, but in this particular logic that you're seeing, it is once it touches the entry zone, then you get the arrow. 
and you'll you'll you might have seen some zones here but they never touched so they never got in or like in this case some uh termination conditions happened and so it turned off all of them. um so the way the the logic is written once once you get in just because you once you touch the zone then it will trigger an entry but if it if it goes the wrong way, it will never execute the, the order. So just because you've got a touch doesn't necessarily mean you got in. In this case, you probably did get in because it, you have to go in that direction. And in this case, you probably didn't get in because it might have touched, but it never got up here to go long. So then it just, it just cancels out after uh, so many bars. All right. Hopefully that'll do it. Thanks.